first we started off showing how to deny the wing and uh, deny the backdoor cut, and then also if he V or elbow pop out to catch the ball, show the different scenarios as far as to deny. But now as far as if he catches the basketball, so as we go, same routine, keep your distance. So now it's important to have that arm out there so it makes him weary of how he passes the basketball. So once he throws it out, now you push him away from the basket. So now as he catches the ball, it's always important to stay in that defensive stand. You want to give him some space, but at the same time, you want to keep him out the middle of the floor and you don't want to let him drive baseline. So now as I'm here, I want to keep the ball pressure. I know he has a live dribble, but I still want to keep the ball pressure. If he try to make a pass, I can deflect. Now I got him at my mercy. You keep the simple keys as we did earlier, as I showed how to deny the perimeter as far as him popping out or cutting back door. So now, as he pops up and do an elbow or a V cut, I still want to keep contact at all times. And as he pops out and he's ready to catch the ball, I still want to keep my hand out here so he makes a further pass away from the basket. So now when he catches the ball, I'm, at, I'm, I'm squared up and I want to keep him out the middle. And then also at the same time, I don't want to let him drive right past me, so I got to be square to him at all times. So now, as he make his, his dribble or his play, his move, he takes that dribble. It's important for me to not take a step that way, because therefore I will create a foul, or he will create the opportunity to put his body into me to create a foul. So therefore, my first step has to be towards the basket. So as he goes, I want to slide and keep my foot trying to cut him off towards the baseline. So as he makes a play, and get ready to shoot the basketball, I can still get in front of him, square up. If he shoots the ball, give a good contest. I don't always have to block it. It's always important just to give a good contest no matter where he shoots the basketball from. So therefore, you can always be in his vision at all times. If he doesn't shoot it, now you get back on him because now he doesn't have a dribble. So now you put pressure on the ball. If he makes a play trying to pass the ball out, now you can get a deflection or whatever it may be because he can't dribble the ball anymore. Here are the keys of defending uh, the wing player as he pop out and try to catch the basketball. I'm going to stay here at all times, so he can't go that way. 
So when he pops out and he's ready to make a pass, I'm still here. I'm between him and the basket, but at the same time, I see the basketball. As he tries to go back door, I want to stay contact, but at the same time, I want to see the basketball. So it's important for me to see the ball here. Once he go back door, to swing my head and still see the ball. So now, as he pops up to catch the basketball, which we call an elbow or V cut, as he comes up, I still want to be in my stance between him and the ball. And as he pops and catches the basketball, I want to give him some space. But if I'm connected to him too close, he could just pop out and catch the ball in his sweet spot wherever he wants the basketball. Anticipation is always important, but at the same time, the key, always stay in the defensive stance. And at the same time, you have to be low and have a good feel for where your guy is at all times. So here, I'm going to stay here. And as he pops out, I'm still here in contact. Once he makes the pass, I have the opportunity to knock the ball or make a good defensive play.